Hi, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post, it would mean the whole world to me. And make sure to check out all of my social media and check out my merch, I'll put it in the description down below. This is my first time recording of me being able to tell you guys that I'm officially monetized. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. Pretty much what this means now is YouTube is an official part-time job for me, so that means a lot to me because now like I'm able to get back with all of the work I've been putting in. So I'll be able to record more because it was hard for me to record because I would be working all these hours at Starbucks because that's what made me money and I have bills to pay. Um, but now that I'm getting monetized, I can make some money. It's not a lot, but you know, it's, it's enough. I just went out to eat with my fam bam. So you know how it's gonna be. There's gonna be indigestion and my Ipsy videos and indigestion go hand in hand. This is very late. <laughs> it is disgustingly late. It is November 12th, so I'm about to get, like in a couple of days, I'm going to get my November Ipsy bag. But I still want to record the October Ipsy bag because I don't think I could do, I don't think I did a September one because of me moving and stuff. We're gonna still do it and it's fine. We're gonna review the products and it'll be fun. Uh, so what we usually do in these videos is we look at the bag, we try out all five of the products. I give my honest review because there's no cap all facts here and we'll go from there. And I'm like sweaty right now, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The bag. Very cute. You know, this would have been super great to have out and about and around during Halloween, but you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. So that's what the bag looks like. Oh, and we also read the card. It's been, well, it's only been like, what, two months since I've done an Ipsy video. So October 2021, pretty wicked. Fangs out, lipstick on. This month, embrace the unconventional vampy lips, rich shadows, pitch black manis, and you might, oh, vaunt some more. God, like, I kinda hate reading these because it's kinda cringy, but we're still gonna do it. It's, you know, what we have to do. Oh, so this gives you some ideas for some last minute Halloween plans so you know maybe for next year but I'm not gonna read it because I want to review the products so bad <laughs> So, great. We're gonna be doing a light makeup look today because they didn't give me a lot of, like really, oh God, the indigestion's already starting, dog. They didn't really give me a lot of like, you know, insane things to wear. It's all very low key. So we're gonna do a low key makeup look and we're gonna look super cute. So the first product we are gonna be looking at today is the Context Keratin Recovery Treatment. That's all it says. This keratin infused deep conditioning treatment supercharged with proteins and extracts restores more moisture, strengthens, stops frizz, and reduces breakage. Directions, apply to clean hair, paying special attention to ends, work through hair with fingertips, leave on one to two minutes, can be placed under dryer for, I'm not drying my fucking hair, and sorry I just went some number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. How much do I put on my hair? Did I just read that and it just like went over my head? It doesn't say how much, but the other one I use says about a quarter amount. We're just gonna do that and put it on my ends. My hair just dried recently you know my hair has recently become dried I just washed it a couple hours ago I feel like this would look better on wet hair or it would work better on wet hair fucking talk oh smells like coconutty almost bro not even gonna lie to y'all so we're just gonna put some especially on my ends I don't know, maybe comb it through a little bit. Do a little comb through moment. It probably should have get put on my hair when it was all wet, but I mean, I'm sure it'll still work nicely. I mean, it better because I mean, this is my hair washing day and if I wash my hair more than twice a week, it gets all frizzy. So I hope I don't have to wash this shit out. All right, so we'll brush it through a little bit. I'll kind of talk more about how it's making my hair feel at the end of the video. Apparently it's gonna boost the keratin in my hair. Am I annoying? Dude, low key, the lowest key. I hear be smelling good right now. It's be smelling fucking fire. <coughs> we have the Dare May Lect. Derma Lect. <laughs> Cosmectuals. Why can't they just 
They always want to use fancy words like we get it, you're rich, okay, you own a business, cool. Self-esteem beauty sleep serum. So this is gonna give me all the self-esteem I need. Not therapy or meds. This is it, this is all I needed. Who would have fucking thought? Beauty sleep serum. Overnight treatment effectively revitalizes dull looking skin, focuses on fine lines wrinkling and large pores. I do got some large pores right here. Great for age spots and uneven skin tone, multitasking, facial and decollete applications. Okay, cool. So this is supposed to be an overnight mask, but we are gonna put it on before my makeup and we'll see. What is the application? Apply on clean skin and allow for the serum to absorb, no need to wash off. Okay, but how much? Like, why is there no measurements in today's products? Well, we'll just get enough that feels correct. The way that I feel like God intended it. Oh my God, it's like piss colored. Well, really like dehydrated pee color. That should be enough. I think that was about five drops. Oh my God, it smells, um, it smells like, like a cinnamon Christmas cookie. Like maybe like gingerbread. I don't know. That's very intense smelling. Like very fucking intense smelling. Like it's a little too much. <laughs> We'll see what the fuck is going on, bro. If it evens my skin tone, because I'm not really wearing a lot of face makeup today, so we'll be able to really see if this is doing what it's supposed to do. But I feel like it already is. Or, like, do you see that? Or am I just full of shit right now? I think I'm full of shit. Okay, um, I'm gonna put on some primer real quick, and then we're gonna continue looking at products. Primer is on and dude, I've been greasing up my lobes again. Okay, again, I have been, but for some reason it's making me break out really bad, like right there. And it's embarrassing. And it's also cause I'm like working a job when I have to be out in the general public, excuse me while I fix my fucking nose ring. So I have to wear a mask all the time. And ooh, it's been screwing up my skin, like really bad. And also the fact that it's like cold out. Anyways, I'm going off. Next we have the Jenna Black. Uh, play pots. It's vegan and cruelty free. It's gold touch shimmer finish cream pigment for eyes, lips, and cheeks. Add color to eyes, lips, and cheeks with play pots. I'm very annoyed because my SD card was full. We're gonna look at this play pots and see what's been going on with her. See what she has to serve. See what she brings to the table. So first of all, hold on. Is it cream? Is it a cream? What is this? Oh, thank God it's a cream. I was like, I'm not trying to get like, I usually prefer cream eyeshadows when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger. Very golden. I wasn't expecting it to be this gold looking. And we're just gonna dab a little bit onto my fucking eye. Serving this gold moment. It looks especially good over the veins that are all over my fucking eyelid. So it really is just kind of like a topper, you know, but it's still showing up. It gives me a little bit of something. <laughs> Am I serving yes or no? I look a little like not good right now, dude. It's because like, I hate this, dude. It's fucking like wearing a mask all day, every day. It's kind of messing up my face, but that's cute. I want to see like how I, what I think when I have the rest of my makeup on. Like, I think it actually looks nice. Maybe if I had face makeup, because like, I guess I'm just focusing too hard. Like I'm hyper-focusing on the rest of my face and how it's like falling apart right now. Yeah, that's like my only, my only dealio. But the next product we have, have. This is the Sugar Rush by Tarte or Tarte and Sugar Rush. I don't fucking know. Uh, easy on the eyes clay liner. 16 hour wear, waterproof, smudge proof. Oh, it includes a built-in sharpener. It's in the color bronze. So we're gonna look at this. It's just a little pencil liner, I'm assuming. I thought since it's like in brown, I can like add a little bit to my eyeballs and it'll make this gold look cute. You know, that's what I was thinking, but you let me know. What if I put a little bit like on my upper lid? Just to like add some color. Ah! Oh, why does my face look like that? Oh my god, I'm so pissed. Okay, it's adding, it's adding a little bit of like, you know, it's making me look more mysterious. Yeah, bitch, you look fucking mysterious right now. Look how fucking mysterious I look. Like, shut up. I'm so fucking sick of myself. When will you guys talk? I'm sick of hearing myself talk. Like every video, it's just me. Like, I think that looks cute. I really like this. Okay, so now we are going to put some, a little bit in my waterline. The next product we have is Real Her You Are Golden Power Wear Ombre Bronzer. Certified cruelty free. All right, let's open it. Okay, so I can already tell this packaging that comes in though, this like one, it's already gonna get messy as fuck because look at that. That's just for me like taking it out. But we're gonna put this on like how I would with any other bronzer. It looks like this. It's kind of glittery and cute. Like we gotta like give it some test. 
Ooh, yeah, that's pigmented. We're gonna take some off. Okay, it's like a little on the intense side, which is like nice, but you know me, I almost like, I almost prefer like my bronzers and blushes to not have such intense pigment because it's very easy to look very insane. It do be adding nice color to my face though. I think I would wear this color more though during the summertime because it's hard during the winter when I get this fucking pale. Okay, it's not winter time, but you know, I'm starting to get pale. It's just like, it can be a lot, you know? But I'm gonna finish putting on the rest of my makeup, which is just blush, highlighter, mascara, brow gel. And we will be back and I'll give my final thoughts on all these products. All right, guys. I'd say we are freaking done. We are going to go through all the products that I used and I'm gonna give my final thoughts now that everything is said and done. So first, what we used was this hair treatment, the Context um, Keratin Recovery Treatment. And I'm gonna be real with you, I definitely think we would have gotten a better effect if it went on wet hair, because my hair, it's like fine. But with that being said, I think it has like that texture like I think it should have been put on with wet hair. It is a little, <laughs> like it has like a tiny bit of a tacky feeling. And it doesn't specify in this that you should put it on wet hair. It does say it'll feel better if you like apply a blow dryer to it, but I don't really apply heat to my hair unless if I straighten it, which is like very rare. So the fact that they're promoting that you should put heat on your hair is fucked. I'm just kidding. But I mean, it seems to work nice. It's definitely one of those things that you'd have to use a lot of times and see the results over a long period of time, right? And then after that, we had this Dermalect uh, Self Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. I'm gonna try putting this on like whenever I um, am sleeping because maybe it'll work. I mean, I noticed like, I don't know if I was just psyching myself out. I felt like it was doing something like right after I put it on, but like, you know, I don't have any other face makeup on besides like bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I feel like it did help a lot because I don't have any concealer on and my dark circles, believe it or not, can get worse than this. And I feel like it could have helped with that. Maybe, I don't know. I like it, I actually do. Like I've tried a bunch of different serums and if you looked at my past couple of Ipsy videos, I feel like, I felt like, I felt like I got one and it didn't do shit. So, I mean, the fact that I feel like this actually is doing something, so I do actually recommend this. So then after that, we had the, um, what was it called? Jenna Black Gold Touch Shimmer Finish, which can be used on like eyes, lips, and cheeks, I feel like is what it said. I don't have the box for it anymore, but I'm gonna be honest with you, on my eyes, it is creasing really bad. Granted, I didn't put anything like primer-wise on my eyes. I put on face primer, but I usually don't wear eye primer. I just wear concealer and powder, and it seems to work. But maybe this would look better as like a highlighter or on the lips, I don't know. I don't really wear like gold stuff on my lips. So as you can see, it is kind of creasing really bad. Next, after that we have um this eyeliner that i used it was the um tart and sugar rush easy on the eyes eyeliner in bronze which i really liked a lot i felt like that really added a dark like bronze goddess type of look to my eyes i think it paired really well with the gold shimmer shadow i put on if it didn't crease but no i like this a lot it was just like a basic eyeliner it went on very smoothly and then after that we had the real her you are golden um bronzer i feel like this would have been nicer to have during the summertime which i can always just wear it in the summertime but it was a little intense with how fucking pale and paper-esque I look right now. And it's very pigmented, which is like kudos to them. But at the same time, like I said, I feel like face makeup stuff, besides like, you know what I mean, like face powders, like blush and bronzers don't need to be so extremely pigmented because then I feel like you have to go really easy. It's a lot. I don't know. <laughs> um, but those are all the products. This was just like a chill Ipsy video. I have to see what I'm getting in my November one because um, this one was definitely very um, toned down, I guess that's the best way to put it. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And yeah, I'll be having more fun and exciting and riveting content coming out for you guys soon. I will see you guys all on the flip side. Bye guys. <laughs>